Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a pretty simple tutorial. I decided to do a neutral eye and lip but with a little bit of smokiness to it. And I am using all of Princess makeup line. So she sent me some items to review and show you guys as my viewers. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys enjoy the products that I'll be using. Featured in it mostly would be the Princess Color Me Shadow and Blush Palette which is pretty awesome. If you're looking for an inexpensive palette, I think she has it on her website for $20 and it has quite a selection of colors and on the bottom row here is a whole bunch of blushes. You can actually contour with that because these are all mattes and I use this as a brow highlight and you can actually highlight with that shade right there. So that is pretty cool. You have quite a variety of colors here, a little bit of something for everyone and I use this palette to create this look today amongst other things that are from the Princess Makeup line. Her website is linked down below along with her channel and she is holding a giveaway. Now one of the items needs a name guys. So if you wanna name one of the blushes and you have any ideas, just comment down below so I'm gonna leave her website down below so you can check out all the items that she has in her website for sale she has quite a few items on there now that she's added that are new so if the website's under construction still it is just for a limited amount of time so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching so I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face and I'm gonna be using my Ember Elise moisturizer I like to use this moisturizer when I'm using a heavier foundation or a foundation that's more full coverage. So I'm going to be using my Eclipse palette from Coastal Scents. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the green shade right here to neutralize these red spots. Like this isn't even cute. And just tap it on the spots that are like red. Now I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D foundation and this one is in the shade Light 49 and I'm going to be using the Princess Makeup Sponge. Of course I've wet it so it's pretty big. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer and this one is in Fair. I'm using this as a primer for my lids as well. So I'm gonna be taking my Cody Air Spun Powder and mix it in with my banana powder and I press these both so that it's a little bit more compact. And I'm just gonna set my under eye concealer with it. And the brush I'm using is my Sigma Tapered Face Brush, my F25. As always, I'm gonna do my brows using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this one's in Ebony. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Small Angled Brush to complete the look so with a little movie magic now that the brows are done i'm going to move on to the eyes now i'm going to be using the princess color me eyeshadow palette and this is what the palette looks like it has some blushes on the bottom here some highlight shades and you could even bronze with that color so this is really pretty down here and then you have a variety of colors so i'm just going to be sticking to some of the nudes and the basics so that i can complete this look for a transition color i'm going to be using the inglot 341 eyeshadow and my 109 brush I'm gonna mix these two browns together with the outer V just to give it some depth now I'm going to take this cream shade right here on the bottom of the palette and I'm going to take my Coastal Scents one of my Coastal Scents brushes this is the BRC NO2 and it's the one I usually use for under my brow so I'm going to take that creamy beige color and place that under the brow and also place it on the mobile part of the lid I'm going to be using the uh, Wet n Wild Fergie gel or cream liner and this one is in Little Black Dress and I love it and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm 
Of course, I made a boo boo. Whatever. Okay, now I'm just gonna create the wing. Okay, now that the eyeliner is done, I'm going to go back in with the palette and I'm going to take the darker brown and the black shade and mix them together. And I'm just going to take that under the lash line just to give it a nice smoky effect. So I'm going to go back in with that Inglot 341 shade and go right under that to kind of just give it like a transition. I'm going to take a princess pigment and this one is in the color magic place that on the inner corner of the eye I'm gonna go back in with the small elf crease brush and I'm going to touch that black just put my brush in slightly to that black and just hit this outer corner here I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk brush and just blend it in. Blend it. I'm not adding any additional product to my Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm just blending. I'm going to go back in with the Inglot shade and just blend out that transition. So I'm going to brighten up my lower lash line using my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Pencil in Nude. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara. So I'm going to be using my Tarte for my lashes. I'm going to be taking my Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte Cosmetics and just putting that on my lashes. You guys have seen me do this a million times. Well, not a million. Not yet. So continuing on to the rest of the face, I'm going to be taking the Princess Bronzer and this is a really pretty golden color. This might come off as a highlight to some people. So I'm just going to add it to where I normally add my bronzer and then I'm going to contour. Now for blush, I'm going to be using a no-name blush. Um, this blush needs to get a name. So if you guys have any suggestions on what to name this blush, um, just let me know down below. I don't know if it's going to transfer onto you guys, but it has a beautiful like peachy corally glow with some gold shimmer to it. It is really pretty. Um, if you're a little darker complected, it would look really gorgeous over top of another blush, kind of like a highlight blush. This will be perfect for that. So this one has no name. So if you guys have any name suggestions for this blush that I'm wearing here, of course, put it down below. She is doing a giveaway on her channel as well, which I would link. And she would like some name suggestions. So the best name wins a blush. I'm going to use my Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter over top my cheeks like I need more glow. I'm going to take my Sigma Small Contour F05 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I'm going to be using the shade Fawn which is my go-to contour shade and I'm just going to deepen that boo. So moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Lip Liner and this one is in Chestnut. I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in a little bit using this Chestnut shade. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Princess Makeup Lipstick, and this one is in Exquisite Nude, and it is a very light, pale, pinky nude, as you can see there. I'm going to go back in with that lip liner and just kind of shade in. So there you have it gloves. This is the finished look using all of princess makeup and I wanted to show you guys how you can create a simple kind of smoky eye with a neutral lip. So I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.